In this tutorial, we're going to take a look at working with the new symmetry drawing and designing tool in Corel Draw 2018. This is a powerful new dynamic and interactive tool that gives us the ability to do things we could not do in previous versions of Corel Draw. We can do illustration in symmetry mode and we can also do design in symmetry mode. In this session, I will design the gear graphic that you see here working in symmetry mode. And then with artistic media brushes in symmetry mode, I'll add these flame elements to this automotive design with this Ford Mustang, which was also illustrated entirely in Corel Draw. To get started with the symmetry tool, I set up a second page in my document. I'll go to that page and then I'll just right click and I'll select Create New Symmetry. You'll see a mirror line appear, and here at the bottom is an icon to finish editing symmetry or exit the edit symmetry mode. This mirror line has the same properties as the regular guidelines in Corel Draw. I can click on it and select it, and you can see that there. I can click again, and I can come up here to the rotation handle, and I can also rotate my mirror line. I'll hit Control Z to go back. I can also hit P to center my mirror line to the page. To get started working on the gear graphic, I'm going to change my angle to 1.50 and hit Enter. Then I'm going to come over here and I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five, six symmetry mirrors. The reason I changed my rotation to 15 degrees is so that the top symmetry mirror would be centered with the page. If I change this back to 90 degrees, you'll see that change. I'll hit Control Z to go back so that's centered. To start with my gear graphic, I'll come over to the rectangle tool, left click, select that. I'm going to hold down shift and control and create a perfect square from the center. Then I'm going to go to effects and add perspective. I'll push forward with my center mouse wheel to zoom in. I'll hold down shift and control and you'll see that as I add that perspective, we'll add it equally both to the left and to the right hand sides of the rectangle. And there is my gear shape. Now I've already centered my symmetry to the page, but I want to make sure that this is centered within my symmetry area here. So I'm going to do it there. I'm going to hit P and that'll center that. And then I'm going to come back down, zoom out here, make sure I've got that selected. And I'll hold down control to constrain that and then pull that back up. Now I have the basic symmetry of my gear parts for my gear. I'll go ahead down here and I'll click finish editing in symmetry mode. And then I'll break symmetry link right here with this icon in the center. Go ahead and hold down shift, left click, start to resize this, hold down shift. And then I'll bring this and I'll hit P and center that on page. And I'll go to my ellipse tool. I'll hold down shift and control to create a perfect circle. I'll hit P to center that on page. I'll come over here to my scale handle. I'm going to hold down shift here and then pull that out. And you can see I'm scaling perfectly from the center right to there. Then I'll go again here, holding down shift, going in. Right click one time to duplicate that. I'll come over to the toolbar, select my pick tool, hold down shift, select the outer ellipse, and I'll combine those. Then I'll hit control A on my keyboard to select everything up here to the multiple objects properties bar and weld. And here I've created my gear shape for my graphic design element in my automotive design. I'll go ahead and copy this back to page one. I'll paste this in, bring this over to one side. I'm going to select the gear because I put a metallic fill on that. And I don't want to spend the time in the tutorial to get into the interactive fill tool. So I'll just left click and drag this over. I'll see the cross arrows there and I'll release and I'll select copy all properties here. 
So I've got that fill in there and I'm ready to go. Now I've also got an extrusion on here, but this time I can go ahead and delete this. Over here to my interactive tools, left click, hold down, go down to extrude. I'll push forward with my center mouse wheel to zoom in, select my gear shape, and then I'll just left click, hold down, and pull that up. Now I can see I've got the effect I want, the depth of the 3D look, but I can see I've got some lines in here I don't want. I'll go to the shape tool in the toolbar, come over here, click on the gear shape, double click and delete that line segment. Double click here, that'll delete that. And there's one more down here, I'll zoom in there. I'm just zooming in and out with my center mouse wheel. Then I'm gonna bring this down in size quite a bit to right about there. And I'll bring and move this over here on top of my graphic. And I'm gonna bring this here I can see I'm gonna to need to come down in size a bit more. Say probably right about there. Hold down shift, select the RPM graphic in the background. I'll hit C to center that. Next I'll right click on the gear graphic. I'll come down here to order and I'll go to in front of and I'll click on the abstract halftone background element I have and that will set my gear in the correct position in my design. And I'll go ahead and actually make that just a little bit smaller and then I'll hold down shift and select the black there and I'll hit center and center that. And now that's in position and set up and ready to go. Next I'll push forward with my center mouse wheel, zoom in here I'm going to select these flame elements and I'll go ahead and hit my delete key to delete those. Those were set up in symmetry mode. I'll zoom out again, pulling back on my mouse wheel. I'm going to right click and select create new symmetry. And we'll see how we can work with the symmetry tool and the artistic media. I'll select this mirror line, left click and bring it over to the center of the gear graphic, I'll go to my artistic media tools, I'll come here and select my flame brush. I come down here by the wheel of car, left click, hold down, drag, I'm working with artistic media, and just bring that up into here. And that will apply that to that design. I'll go to the pick tool, I'm going to double click on this, so I can go to the shape tool and then just lasso and select all of these nodes to smooth that artistic media brush stroke out. And that's in there just the way I'd like it. So that's all set. Now remember you have your properties bar. I'll go to the pick tool here. You can select show full preview. If I turn it off, I'll see my original graphic here, but everything else in my symmetry will be these red lines. You can also Select Show Symmetry Lines, and you can see as I disenable that, my mirror line disappeared. Then, of course, you can go into your mirror lines and your rotation. I'm going to zoom out here, and I'm going to finish editing in symmetry mode. Then I'm going to come down here and break the symmetry link for these graphics. And then I'll select my flame graphics and I'll right click and I'll select order and I'll go to in front of and once again I'll click on the halftone abstract element in the background. I'll click off and I'll push forward with my center mouse so it'll zoom in. We can see working with the new symmetry tool in CorelDRAW 2018, we're very easily and quickly able to create the gear for the design element for that and also working with artistic media in the symmetry mode to add those flame elements. So we can see clearly that we can do some things with the symmetry tool and illustrating and designing in symmetry mode in CorelDRAW 2018 that we could not do in previous versions of CorelDRAW. If you're watching this video on YouTube, you'll find a link in the description below. 
that will take you to our tutorial page on the Discovery Center. Here you can download a written copy of the tutorial to follow along with, download link for the file to follow along with, and many other helpful tutorials for CorelDRAW 2018.